Um, so in this case, ladies and gentlemen, again, what we're trying to identify is we're trying to factor this. Okay. So when trying to factor this, again, basically as we talked about with my method that we have gone over and over and over and over and over again, is you're trying to identify what two numbers multiply to give you negative 9 and add to give you positive 8. Now I'll give you guys some helpful hints. First thing is, we need to figure out what are the two numbers that multiply to give you 9. Well, guys, there's only two possibilities. It's only 9 and 1 and 3 and 3. That's it. That's all you got. That's all we have to work with. Only those two opportunities. Now, I will give you a helpful hint, though. When they multiply to give you a negative number, one of them has to be negative. And if they add to give you a positive number, then the larger of them has to be positive. Well, these are the same numbers, so that's not going to work. So the only possibility that I have is positive 9 and negative 8. Now, I'm not going to do the box thing, which I did, because that's a lot of you mean negative 1. Negative 1, yeah, I say negative 8. Yeah. yeah. So now, these are your two factors. So the factored form is x plus 9 times x minus 1. That is the factored form. Does that make sense? Yes. That's all you guys had to do. Is that all? That's it. I'm just asking you guys to factor. There's no 